global warming. That's what drives them, and then they find their form, they find their um, their details, their movement, their emotions. But there are only so many emotions you can have about global warming. Frustration and rage mostly, and fear and anxiety and despair. It's too large an issue to be solved on the individual level. We obviously all have to do what we can, but it has to be governmental. It has to be intergovernmental, um, not just intragovernmental. We've basically wasted eight horrible years now, well, crucial years in the struggle against it. I heard Cheney on television, uh, on the radio, at the press club dinner in Washington. Um, I found it really reprehensible in the way the media was treating what he said. What he said was, he was joking, of course, and he was saying, um, oh, I've realized global warming is here because it's very warm out today and you can tell it's a very hot day. He says, of course, I call it spring. Well, that was a very funny joke, but it was a tragic joke considering what they have done for these eight years, which is actually move us back from where we had already the few little steps we had begun to take. It's an angry poem. It's not a poem that I think of as one of my best poems, but it relates precisely to what I was just talking about. It's called Rats. From beneath the bank of the brook in the first searing days of the drought, water rats appeared, two of them we'd never known even were there. Unlike city rats skulking in cellars or sliding up from a sewer mouth, I saw this. It wasn't dusk. These, as blithe as toy tanks, sallied into the garden to snitch the crust we'd set out for the birds. But still, who knows what filth and fetter and rot down in their dark world there were before. I shouted and sent them hurtling back. Now the brute crucible of heat has been upon us for weeks. Just breathing is work, and we're frightened. The planet all but a fire, glaciers dissolving, deserts on the march, hurricanes without end, and the president and his energy company cronies still exist. Warming, global warming isn't real. The rats rove where they will now, shining and fat. They've appropriated the whole lawn. From this close, they look just like their cousins anywhere else devious, ruthless, rapacious, and every day I loathe them more.